Anyway, good afternoon, everyone watching from afar. Welcome to St. Mary's Perivale, where we have a very keen audience indeed, very discerning audience, come out on a lovely Sunday afternoon to hear a glorious concert of Haydn and Schubert, uh, played by the Mithras Trio. You can read all about the Mithras Trio on our website, enough to say that they're quite outstanding. Uh, they won the Trondheim competition. There are not that many competitions for chamber music. Uh, it's not like piano competitions where you lose track, there are so many. There are not many uh, chamber music big competitions and if you win them, it means that you're rather special. Uh, the Mithras Trio fall into that description very well. They're superb and I'm very pleased to welcome them back. Uh, three wonderful musicians and charming young men and you're in for a treat. And they're playing an early Haydn trio and then the great Schubert E-flat trio. And I think they'll be talking a bit about it. Uh, if you enjoy this broadcast, please do donate because we always pay our musicians. In contrast to some venues in central London, we always pay our musicians. So if you enjoy it, please go to our website, to the PayPal facility and donate something. Uh, without more ado, it gives me huge pleasure to welcome back the Mithras Trio. A big round of applause, please. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks so much for coming. It's a pleasure to be back here at last with an audience in the building. So thank you so much for coming out. Um, we're going to start with uh, Haydn's trio number no. seven in G major. Despite the late Hoboken number, it's one of his earliest trios. It's probably written uh, in the early 1760s, around the time he, he began to work at the court of Prince Esterhazy. Um, it was written very much as an, a, a music to be enjoyed by amateurs. So you'll have to suspend your disbelief. It's not meant for the concert hall. It's meant to be enjoyed by friends uh, of an evening having a nice time. It's in four movements. The first uh, is a noble and stately allegro. The second, a delightful minuet um, with a rather spindly trio section that reminds us of clockwork. And the, it follows, it's followed by a, a very beautiful adagio with lots of ornamentation in the piano part. And finally, a lively allegro finale.
Thank you very much, everyone. We're going to move on now about 50 or 60 years. Mm -hmm. We're going to move on to Schubert's trio number two in E flat major. This was written in 1827, so it's about one year or just a bit less than one year before Schubert died. He died very, very young, of course. And this is one of the few pieces of Schubert's that was actually written for a public performance that actually took place during his lifetime. It's a very big piece. Some commentators have uh, suggested that this is Schubert's Eroica Symphony. Of course, they share the same key. I think there's also something to be said about the scope of this piece, both in its length and also in the sort of sounds that Schubert's making with just three instruments. It's really quite symphonic in its conception. It's in four movements. The first is a sonata form allegro movement. The second movement is a beautiful andantino that is based on a Swedish song. Schubert was apparently a very big fan of Swedish folk songs. The third movement is a very Viennese scherzando movement, a scherzo and trio. And then the finale is a movement which I think is quite kaleidoscopic and gives you a little bit of everything. So Schubert's Piano Trio number no. 2 in E flat.
Well, that was a simply thrilling performance of the Schubert E-flat trio, Once the, one of the best I've ever heard here. We must have had it at least 10 times over the years. Absolutely fantastic. That last movement has a fiendishly difficult piano part, which is Im almost one of the most difficult things in the repertoire. I've never heard it played so well as it was this afternoon. Staggering. All three of them are fantastic musicians, and they're an exceptional piano trio. And I hope you really enjoyed it as much as we all did here in the church. And if you did, you know what you can do. You can go to our PayPal facility, because it's an expensive afternoon. Please give generously. A fantastic afternoon. And thank you very much for being with us. Our uh, recording technician today is Simon Shute, who installed all this wonderful equipment. Uh, Jill Rowley's doing box office. Thanks to everyone, and next Sunday afternoon we have an, uh, a rather special concert all about clarinet and the clarinet family by Tony Lamb. But before then, there are two wonderful concerts in the week. Please keep watching and please keep donating. And thank you very much for being with us and a very good afternoon from West London. And... do appreciate it and we need you to keep